What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Well, Wednesday is here. If you guys hear a heater in the background, that is because it is cold where I'm at. But anyways, we got some new console mods to go over today. On consoles, we got the John Deere CCS2113, the Jens Hem A21 chipper truck, the Lizard 9509, the John Deere 750A, the TLX 48-foot tanker trailer, the Russell Mesh Power Stream 900, metal sheds, open chicken coop timber frame, placeable old ramp, placeable US speed limit signs, and flower deco pack. Now for updates for today, we got the Vorperman Rugen, I always pronounce that thing wrong, the Shooting Maker vertical pack, the John Deere CA50 air card, the John Deere 1870 air hoe drill, the TLX 9000 semi, the TLX 48 foot enclosed trailer, the planner, the Lizard Low Loader, the Kuhn VB2190 with attacher to Ursus Z586, the British Animal Husband Replaceables, and Seasons Geo South Marvea. Let's roll that intro. Here we go. Well, welcome back, guys. Here we are with the first mods for Wednesday. Okay, the first one we got is the John Deere CCS2113. Let's see, it's $63,000. This is a planter. It is 17 slots, holds up to 4,400 liters. It does require 180 horsepower, 6.8 working meters. This one does seeding and fertilizing, and it does direct seeding, so you don't gotta worry about cultivating or plowing before. Uh, this does your corn, sunflower, soybeans, uh, sugar beets, and cotton. Okay, options though, we got configurations. Let's actually back up a little bit over here. We got standard, we got without fertilizer, which brings it down to 1400 liters. And then without fertilizer discs, and without both, and then back to standard again right there. Design though, we got default disc, uh, corrugated disc, and then back to default. Let's see if any of these change. It does not look like it. Okay, so that is the John Deere CCS2113. Okay, now on to the next one is the only vehicle for today. This is the Jens Hem A21 Chipper Truck, $479,000. This is under Forester Machines. Let's see, it is 45 slots. It's kind of big on the slot count right there. It is 640 horsepower. Let's see options for this one. We got main color, pretty much any color. Uh, let's see design color, any color. Wheel brand, we have Lizard. We have Nokian. We have Trailborg. And then back to Lizard. Let's see bumper, we have Standard. We have bumper one, bumper two and then back to standard on this. Okay, so let's actually take a look at this in game. Okay, and so here we are in game. Like you guys know, I'm not much into forestry, but I will show you how to turn on everything and all that. Let's actually get in here. Okay, so let's see, we got control groups. We got the crane two, the pipe one, support arm, and then back to crane two. Okay, so let's unfold it real quick. So this is what it looks like unfolded. You guys know how good I am with the crane. So uh, yeah, there's that, let's see. There's that up down, uh, turning it, class. Uh, let's see, up down right there, extending it. Okay, horn. Wow, loud horn. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear the engine turn on. Okay, nice sounds on that. Okay, let's actually turn it on real quick. Oops, gotta unfold the pipe. Uh, let's do that real quick. Okay, now let's turn it on. Oh, gotta start the engine too. Okay, nice sounds on that. Uh, let's actually change up a little bit. Let's uh, change it to the support arms. Let's see if we can get the support arms down. There they are right there. So it does have support arms. Uh, here is the interior, really nice interior. Also got a crane cam. Lights, one, two, three, three sets of lights. Uh, let me see where all the lights are. Definitely lights up. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the gens. Really nice. Okay, now we have a new trailer for today. This is the Lizard 9509. It's 34,350. It is 10 slots on this one. Holds up to 48,000 liters. Let's see options for this though. We got design color, either got yellow dollar, uh, blue, orange, or gray. It changes basically just the trailer color right there. So a really nice little trailer. 
Okay, and then after that one, we have the John Deere 750A, which I believe was out on PC, but is now out on console. It comes with three right there. We got the 750A 3M, which is $45,000. 15 slots, uh, 120 horsepower is required, 3.0 working meters. This does seeding and fertilizing. Of course, this does direct seeding, so you don't gotta worry about plowing or cultivating for this one. Options though, we got design standard, we got with beacon light, which puts it right back there. Beacon light and front, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, that hose right there. And then front hose, then frontal extension, extension and beacon, and then all options right there. So that's the first one. Then we got the 750A 6M, which is $52,000, 17 slots. So it's two more slots than that one. Uh, holds up to 6,200 liters. Does require 180 horsepower, 6.0 working meters. Uh, let's see, options though. We got, I think it's pretty much the same with beacon, front hose, beacon light and front hose, then back to standard. Uh, and then we got the 750A 6M frontal extension which is $53,000, 17 slots on this one, 6,200 liters, 180 horsepower is required and 6.0 working meters, which I believe is exactly the same as that one. Uh, let's see, and then I think the designs is the same. Yes, they are. Okay, so that is the John Deere 750A. And then the next one we got is something I've been waiting for on consoles. This is a TLX 48 foot tanker trailer from uh, A2 Square Studio. This is, let's see, 21,500, only 11 slots. It holds up to 67,240 liters. Wow. And this holds, of course, your milk, your water, your fuel, your herbicide, slurry, stuff like that. Uh, let's actually take a look at all the options on this one. Rim color, you got any color. Design color, you got any color, which let's just change that to purple so you guys see what changes. So you guys can see the holder right down there. And then this one, any color, so we can change it to say like black and changes that. Then we got function, we got multi-product. We got animals. Uh, then we got fuel. You got crop protection. You got slurry tanker, which actually puts those signs on there too. So that's pretty cool right there. Uh, then you got multi-product. Then wheel brand, you got stock, you got lug covers, you got spike covers, you got tag axle, you got aggro tires, and then back to stock again. Uh, stock, you have standard, you have black center caps, heavy duty, Nokian, Nokian heavy duty, and then back to standard. Fenders, all, rear, or none. Uh, let's see, illumination, you got standard, you got rear ring, you got work lights, and then you got all right there. Tatchers, you got standard, or you got trailer attacher, which you can hook up another trailer to the end of it. And then let's see, warning signs, you got standard, you got flammable liquid, if you guys can see that right there. You got food grade, you got fresh milk, milk slash water, non-flammable gas, flammable solid, danger if wet, inhal inhalation hazard, uh, then back to standard. Let's see, vinyls though, we got standard, you got the raindrops if you guys, let me see if I can change the color real quick so you guys might be able to see it. Um, let's change it to maybe gray. No, can't really see it on that. Something lighter. Eh, I mean, you can see it a little bit. Okay, so let's see. Vinyls, we got raindrops. You got A2 Logistics. You got A2's Lawn Care. A2's Liquid Transport. And then back to standard on that. Uh, let's actually take a look at this in game. Okay, so here we are in game. Of course, I had to get the TLX 9000. It's the only way you can use this thing, right? Okay. So let's go right here. Oh yeah, it sounds it sounds different on here. Wow. Okay. So let's back it up real quick. Okay, so here it is. Let's see. Got the flammable liquid one. Uh, let's see. Open pump cabinets. Push A, which opens. What does it open? I'm trying to see if it. Oh, opens up those. Wow. That's nice right there. <laughs> What if that actually, if it would actually go up and down, that'd be cool. Okay, let's see, turn on trailer. You turn it on or turn it off, open covers, which opens up all of those. Uh, what does this do? I don't know what that does. Okay, I think that's for the truck right there. Okay, then the lights on it, let's see, let's go right there. There's some lights, second lights, third lights fourth lights so it has four four lights on here with all options so this thing's definitely going to be bright uh, let's see if we can put something in it real quick i believe there's some fuel right over here so let's just go right here real quick okay come on start feeling 
There we go. So it's filling up a diesel right now. Yeah, really nice. Oh, it does. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, it actually says it on it uh, how much it is. That is amazing. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the TLX 48-foot tanker trailer. And now on to the next one, which is this one right here. It is a new header. This is the WrestleMash PowerStream 900. It is $40,000, 9.0 working meters, four slots. It works with the Torum 760. Uh, let's see, options, though. There is no options for this one. This does look pretty nice. Uh, so this works with, uh, let's go over here real quick. It works with this one right here. So when you actually download it, it'll automatically download this mod right here. So that is the Russell Mesh Power Stream 900. The rest of them are placeable. So let's get into the new placeables for today. Okay, now on to the first placeable for today. So let's go over here. Let's go under placeables. Let's go to sheds. And there it is right there. Metal sheds, which includes the larger and the smaller, which are both the same price. Uh, let's see, four slots on each of these. Is there any difference with these? Let's see. There's that one. And then there's this one. Oh, it does look a little bit smaller, maybe. Maybe. Now let's see real quick. Um, it looks a little bit smaller. To me it does. Okay, is there are lights on here? Yes, there is lights. So there's some lights right there. Uh, does it actually turn on all the lights? Let's see. Yep, turns on all the lights right there. So really nice little shed. Okay, now on to the next one. We have the old ramp, which is 1,200. It is seven slots. Let's go ahead and place this right there. There we go, right there. I don't know why my money keeps going down ever since I got fuel over there. <laughs> well, I guess that might be a little bit of a bug. Okay, but see, here is a nice loading ramp right here. Uh, this might be actually pretty good with the TLX enclosed trailer. Put it right back here and then uh, load it right there. So really nice right there. Okay, so that is the placeable old ramp. Okay, let's get to the next one. It's actually under decoration all the way at the very, very end. That right there is another pack right there. It is right here. This is the placeable US speed limit signs, which includes all the way from five miles an hour all the way up to 60 miles an hour. Uh, all the way, let's see, this is five slots. And yes, these are all five slots. So we go ahead and place this real quick. So let's just place a few of those. And there we go right there, speed limit 50 and speed limit 60. So that is the placeable US speed limit signs. Okay, one more mod to go over. Let's go over here. Let's go into decoration. And there they are right there. This is the flowers deco pack. So it includes the wooden flower pots, blue, yellows, uh, reds, even the bigger ones. And then of course the wood barrel palm ones too. Pretty nice. Uh, I believe these are our two to five slots. Yes, they are. So let's go ahead and place a few real quick. So let's place that one. Let's go place a bigger one. And then let's place a barrel. Okay, so there they are right there. These look really nice though. Really nice textures. Okay, so that is the flowers deco pack. So that is all the new mods for today. Of course, we got some new updates. So let's go over those updates real quick. Okay, and here we go with the updates for today, which there is a lot, so it might take me a minute to get through them. But first one is the Vorperman Rugen map. Let's see the change log on this one. Seasons ready. Revised vegetation on roads and fields. Wood chips cell station updated. New grass fields added. Farmlands revised. New buildings and decorations. And map cleaned up with test runner and free of errors on that one. The next one, the shooting maker vertical pack. What did this change on this one? Just some minor fixes and improvements on that one. Then we have the John Deere CA50. What did this change on this one? Fixed bugs, and now the ladder opens when refueling on that one. And then the next one we have is for the John Deere 1870 Arrow. What did this change on this one? Just fixed bugs on that one. Then we have the TLX 9000 Semi. What did this change on this one? New license sounds, new AO masks, new dirt masks, new wear mask, and remove the shake exhaust animation on that one. Then we have the TLX 48 foot enclosed. What did this change on this one? Added extend lift gate forklift size friendly. Issue fixed, tension belts function when attached to the TLX 9000. Another issue fixed, revised one of the side decals, adjusted avoiding taking part of the other decal. And then another issue, uh, foliage bending adjusted for a realistic interaction on that one. So that's for the TLX 48 foot. Then on the planner, what did this change on this one? 
added cover, added multiple colors, and reflective triangle option on that one. Then we have an update for the Lizard Low Loader. What did this change on this one? Improved textures and added wood paneling uh, config on that one. Then we have the Kuhn VB2190 with attacher to Ursus Z586. What did this change on this one? Added color uh, configuration. So now I got the Kuhn, Gverland, Vcon, Ursus, and DF. And then also a couple small model and programming fixes on that one. Then we have the British Animals Pack. What did this change on this one? Change name from British Cow Sheep Pigs, placeables to British Animal Husbandry placeables. Added pigs husbandry large and beef cattle husbandry. Changed store icon images and fixed a few small things on that one. And then the last one is the Seasons Geo Marvea. Uh, let's see the change log on this one. Addition of crops, alfalfa, clover, horse grass, field grass, pasture grass, onions, carrots, and miscanthea. So that is for that one right there. So that is all the updates for today. Okay, so that right there, guys, was all the new mods, the updates, and of course, the placeables for today. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, which one was your guys' favorite mod. I'm probably going to have to say, of course, that TLX Tinker. That thing is amazing right there. Okay, now today's schedule. After this video, I'll get out of FS Daily News. And then tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, a new map tour. So, like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't said, make sure you guys do. And like always, have an awesome day, farmers. Peace.